Hi guys, welcome to another short video by uh, Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill and in this video I'm going to give you a little look at the website I have. Now I've done um, vlogs where I've talked about my website now I'm not happy with what I've actually got. Um, one of the main reasons is um, my website is with Vistaprint. <coughs> um, it's always having problems. Um, but the main thing with it is my shop doesn't actually get found in the Google search engines for images. It does for if you run a search and you search through Google, but people, let's say for argument's sake, they're looking for this Victorian pink opalescent glass jug. Now I can have that listed for the correct keywords. If someone searches it in Google, they're not going to scour every single one of these shops looking. They're going to go images. Where's the one I got? Click, that's the one I got, go to the shop. My website doesn't offer that. Uh, but at the same time, I don't want to be with an e-commerce website that takes 15 or 20% of my sales and charges me for this and charges me for that. Um, so I'm stuck in the middle at the moment of knowing what to do for the best. Um, I Obviously, I want uh, to change my website. I've tried three or four different websites over the years now. And to be honest with you, so far I haven't had a lot of success with any of them. I've had sales, um, but not enough that I can give up eBay and just move directly solely on my own websites. Um, so I am interested in um, web designs. Um, any advice on somebody who can design me the perfect website similar to what I want? I don't want an overly complicated site. I like things to be simple. For the plain and simple reason is a lot of people out there like me, I'm useless on computers, I'm useless with modern technology, I want things to be simple, I want to see easy controls, you know, click here to do that, click there to do that, just scroll down and it's there in front of you. I don't want complicated uh, things that only the, the young and the modern can, um, you know, the young kids and that of today can use. I want a simple website that looks elegant, but more importantly, will allow me to make my own pages and where I list in a shop, actually work and put the images onto Google Images. But I'm going to give you a little look at what I got now. Um, any advice you have on improvement, I'm more than happy to listen to. Um, I'm always, I'm never too big to say I'm, I've been wrong or I'm doing something wrong or I've made a mistake. I make mistakes all the time, guys. I am simply just trying to make a living, same as anyone else. Um, so anyway, I'll give you a little look at the website, uh, see what you think. Okay guys, so here's my homepage. <coughs> Obviously we have Antiques Arena, all aspects, antiques uh, and collectibles, picture of me in the corner, pictures a few years out of date now, I should really update them, but just haven't got around to it. Now what I did do, uh, well first of all obviously I have all my um, pages across the top there because I like it to be simple as I've said, I want it to be easy to understand. Now one thing I did manage to do on this one is insert my own language um, translator so depend, no matter where they are in the world they can select their language as long as they can read select language in English and they can change it to whatever language they want and it does actually alter all the text to whatever language. So that is awesome. I like the fact I could put that in on here. Now we come down. Um, obviously I have my little introduction talking about me, a little picture of me again. Again, that's a five-year-old five year photograph. Now, I made a video for the introduction page, which is simply, if I click on that, you know, it's just a little introduction video. You know, welcome to Antiques Arena, showing them some of the pieces I offer, period glassware and other pieces. You can enlarge this onto the full screen should you wish. And then obviously we have, you know, all sorts of art. I got some nice pieces illustrated, just telling people, I like to show on the range I, uh, I offer. That is Beaconsfield. Um, Beaconsfield is um, a pattern you need to look for. It pulls serious money. Anyway, I'll, I'll take that off. Anyway, guys, um, 
as you can see there was um, a little introduction video but there they can click on um, come down there little chat my details contact details my links my YouTube Facebook Google and so forth um, so I obviously I've got a contact page where they can contact me send me messages again select their own language all my details down the side um, how to page now what I felt was if I started offering information to help people then um, it gives them a reason to come back so I started with how to pages um, and then obviously we have little icons um, there's the, all the useful tools by year you need to be an antique dealer so if I click on that one it will open eventually you know it comes down um, I'm an Amazon affiliate so basically they can search for stuff on Amazon and I get commission off Amazon um, and I'm talking to them like tell them what they need why they need it where the best place is to buy it cheap um, you know what cameras I use cleaning solutions even memory sticks to save your photos why you gotta save your photos the lighting system I use anything I can think of that maybe have helped to them everything from bubble wrap parcel tape and basically trying to help people when they set up and obviously um, obviously with the Amazon link I'll get commission anyway if they buy here we have a link on how to invest in silver and gold and make money and obviously I, I tell them my predictions on silver and gold and everything else um, I will actually do a video on this view this week where I'll break it down on the videos for you um, it's quite in depth telling them basic, it covers everything from where to buy your silver and gold how much to pay for it why I feel it's going to go up in value why I feel it's a safe investment and so on I'll do a video on that it's going to be quite a long video but it may be worth your while watching that one obviously wait to find your booty you got a little treasure map there uh, that's by here and this should just be um, car boot sales, Gatling Air car boot, Bessemer Road, Sally car boot and so on and I've given you the postcodes and a little description of the car boot sale and I've even said to people if they want their car boot sale added email me and I will add their car boot sale to the list I've only done all my local ones at the moment um, but should anybody want to add their uh, car boot sale because obviously my YouTube channel and my website is all over the country and all over the world. So even though they're only local to me, um, or your car boot sale may not be local to me, but someone in your area may look at my site or watch my video, I will more than happily add your car boot sale to um, my site free of charge. Again, um, another one on investing in silver and gold, but this one wasn't buying um, scrap, this was buying jewellery at scrap getting it valued and so forth and then reselling it and coins um, again when I go over the um, how to buy silver and gold and that I'll cover that one in the same video um, I've even covered how to sell your items at auctions car boot sales on eBay and so on and there's detailed descriptions there um, on how to sell you know warning you about buyers premiums and car boot sale charges and you name it I'm trying to be as helpful as I can be and everything obviously then is it real or fake um, identification then real or fake and then we look at all the assay marks and all you know the silver marks is a silver plate is it fake and so on and I've started doing gold versus gold plates versus roll gold. Um, I haven't finished that one yet. Uh, so that's my how to page. Then we come to my we buy page. Obviously, we buy. I have buy all the items for cash and that. Um, a little talk on how to know if it's silver or gold. I have my prices up. As you can see, I haven't updated these for some time. They need updating greatly. Um, 25 pence a gram on silver 
I've only got six pound a gram on there for nine carat. I'm actually paying eight pound a gram now. Um, I like to make two pound a gram, which isn't a lot of money. Um, considering I have to drive up to Birmingham, and if someone brings me a ten gram necklace, I'm only making twenty pound on that necklace. So, uh, but that does need updating. Uh, the prices are a bit low on that. I'll give you that one. I have an about us page. Um, which this just talks about uh, me and my family and everything um, and why why trust us and everything um, so yeah there's the about us obviously I have a page that talks about any offers or competitions I'm running um, obviously any competitions I run I used to run regular competitions on Facebook trying to build my Facebook group up in which case I'd give away pieces every week or every month and I found I was giving away gold jewellery and silver jewellery and I wasn't even gaining subscribers um, or getting any more visitors to my website so I stopped doing that um, but I do run competitions in which case then they come on the um, on this page here and I do do offers I have a page on terms and conditions. On this, I cover everything from people buying weapons. They have to be over 18 years of age to buy weapons. That you're, you're responsible for your own country's import charges and customs charges. That I won't ship ivory or anything abroad. There's a whole host of my terms and conditions that are of business. Obviously, we have my video page where I upload my videos from YouTube. Um, and if you follow me, you know that's quite an extensive list. It takes ages for my computer to load this in, but again, this is not a professional computer. This is a cheap home computer that I work on. But there's hundreds of videos um, that take a couple of minutes to load in because there's just so many of them. I think I got about 140 videos now on YouTube, but they're all there on my video page. Um, obviously, it'll load in quicker for other people but it does load in just takes a minute on my uh, connection and then of course we come to my web shop which is the the actual important part of having a website this is what it's all about we're here to make money and have a business and have a job um, so if my web store ever loads in okay now I offer a whole host now, I did have three, four hundred items on you, but I've decided I ended everything, took the lot off, and I'm being more select what I put on. I'm only putting on pieces that I want on there. Everything else will end up on eBay. The stuff that goes on the shop, on the website, does not go on eBay, so it's only available on the website. Um, and it has to be something that I deem to be special. Um, here I done a video on this the other day which is the mining memorabilia um, so you have all the miners lamps the figures the plate I put up for 160 pound that's three that's seven miners lamps albeit four a decorative two large brass figures and the miners strike plate so it's a nice little group considering these large ones can pull up to 70 each on eBay we got a nice bit of um, uh, barge where they hand painted uh, Kenrick bowl beautiful piece here we have an amazing solid silver nurse's belt normally you see the belt buckle is silver the entire belt here is silver it's beautiful um, obviously some ivory figures you can't put ivory on eBay but on your own website you can as as you can with weapons um, it's some really interesting pieces got some beautiful fine jewelry on there um, some amazing carved wood, some silver, pens, beautiful bronze. Uh, that is a really nice plaque. It's not mounted in anything, but beautiful. Victorian claret jug, an early 18th century Irish um, piggin, which is a double lipped or double handled bowl. It's quite a rare bowl. Um, here we have my submarine hydro hydroplane. That tells a submarine whether to dive or rise. Beautiful, massive instrument. As you can see, there's quite a really nice group of things on the site. A couple of pages are on the shop. We start getting into the dealer pieces, the fine jewellery. Um, you know, St. Louis claret jug, another one of those. Solid silver candlesticks. 
my gold and I've done a video on the bangle and the ring as you can see I put the bangle up for 3000 and I put the ring up for 2000 but I think they came in with a valuation of just under 7000 for the two but obviously um, that was for replacement so obviously you've got to go cheaper than that plus somebody will make me an offer but if I end up with uh, half the valuation I'm happy enough so as you can see my shop is really really you know it's coming along I'm quite happy with it um, I've only just started rebuilding the shop um, I take credit cards, take PayPal, everything so there's no reason why the, sh the website isn't being successful other than the fact it's just not the images are not being picked up in the Google searches and when people search for the antiques they collect they look through the images they don't scroll through hundreds of web pages well guys I hope you uh, enjoyed having a little look at the website um, as you can see it needs a lot of changing still needs a lot of work needs a lot more stock put on there but what I'm doing is I'm being selective what I want on there there's a certain look I want for my shop and I want it to be fine jewellery, interesting antiques, um, really nice quality collectibles. Um, all the run of the mill working stock will still go onto eBay. I'm not going to be putting 20 and 30 pound items on my own website. Uh, that's going to be for my better pieces. Um, but I do feel I need a new website but at the same time as you know I'm a single uh, father. Uh, four children and not cheap. Um, just spent £1,000 for my one son to go to Rome on his sixth form school trip. I've just spent £40 for Legoland trips. My daughter's just come back from um, Drayton, uh, not Drayton Manor, Manor Adventure, which was a three day holiday with the school, which was another £100. It's a lot of money. So I, I don't have fortunes to spend on a website. If someone comes up to me and says, Oh, I'll do you the perfect website for two or three thousand, don't bother. It's not interested to me. I'm looking for someone who can design me a really good website in the hundreds, not in the thousand guys. But the key thing, as I've said, is the website must have my Google, my shop inventory must come up in Google Images. So if I want to search this little jug, as I've said earlier, I want that jug to come up in the Google Images. When I click on, when I search for a jug on Google and hit Images, I want my shop inventory to come up in the Images. That is the key factor in a website for me. Anything else I will work around and build around. Um, but it is coming. It's not the perfect website yet um, and no doubt it won't be for a couple of years. But it's coming. Um, all I can do is keep going, see where we go. Um, I don't know how you've had experiences with your own websites. Do you sell well off your websites or do you still rely on eBay like me? Um, I sell off the website, don't get me wrong, it does sell, but it doesn't sustain me. I, I don't want to be paying 20% to eBay and PayPal. I would much rather be selling for free off my own site. So I don't know how you guys uh, manage. Do you, I don't know, do you manage um, to sell it all direct or do you just have a site without the shop, put it up for sale on the pages so it comes in Google and then make them phone you to buy it? I don't know. You tell me guys, comment, uh, let me know how you do it and if it works and without being too intrusive do you actually make enough off there or do you still have to rely on eBay and antique fairs and things so I'm certainly interested to know how you guys do um, if I manage to get a new website done I will obviously film it and show you um, and anybody who does my website I will put in the video and advertise if I'm happy with the website I will certainly tell everybody who've done mine and if you like how mine looks then obviously they, their name's going to get uh, up and uh, it's up to you if you want to use them. So, yeah, I think that's it, guys, for this video. Um, I'd appreciate a like and a share. Don't forget to hit the subscribe. Um, so many videos now. <laughs> it's going well. Um, considering I didn't think anybody would want to watch them. So, yeah, I am grateful for the support. Uh, you'll find us on Facebook, Antiques Arena. We're on groups and pages. Uh, we're on eBay Antiques Arena Clearance and we have our own website as you just saw, antiquesarena.co.uk. We also have antiquesarena.com. Um, there are others, uh, other sites, finishings like .co and .com and 
www.ghostbusters.org and all the rest of it, right? Got .co.uk and .com. Um, they were the two main ones. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Bye for now.